there may have been other players in history who do what Harden can do, step back three, get to the rim, finish strong, shoot free throws. Shoot. You know, but they weren't allowed to run an offense the way Harden is running this offense with these rules. But it's working. And he's got that glow, Stephen A. So Dan Tony's like, don't mess with it. Don't, like, put too much stuff in his head right now. He hits a step back three. He Euro steps his way to the rim. He finishes strong. He draws fouls. He shoots free throws. He finds his teammates. He gets them involved. Like, when, you know, Clint Capella's rolling to the rim. He'll find them. Chris Paul gets to play off ball. Chris Paul's a much better scorer than people realize. Actually, the closest thing to a modern-day Isaiah Thomas that we have in the game right now. So, so Tony's just like, look, this is working. By the way, since they've had their full complement of players, yeah, Harden was keeping them afloat with, without Capella and without uh, CP3. Since they had their full complement of players, 17-4. and four. Why would Tony change anything? Isaiah? Okay. <laughs> here, here, here's, here's my response to, to, to both of you. Um, and, I, and I'll start with you, uh, Stephen A. All right. I, I, I agree with, with what you're saying in terms of Houston, and, but here's why I agree with it. You know, there are five ways to score. You can score layups, free throws, shoot the three, post up, or mid-range. Houston right now only scores in three ways. They score on a layup, free throw line, or the three-point line. When you come into the playoffs, that, that opposing coach is going to take something away from you. And if you're dependent on only three things, my job is to take one of them away. And once I take one of them away, and you only got two things left that you can do during the course of this series, then I'm going to beat you. The problem that Golden State presents to everyone is those five scoring areas Golden State uses all five scoring areas. They score from the three, they score on post-up, they score on mid-range, they get to the foul line, they make layups. So on any given play, you have to guard all five areas, all scoring areas of the floor, and then they hit you with pick and roll, then they hit you with splits, then they hit you with flares. So they're making you defend all possibilities I, within Isaiah, one set. I want to answer that because this is the perfect kind of like old school thinking versus the analytics oh, model, hell right? Oh, no. wait, ho, 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 ho. This ain't old Please. school. This is basketball. Well, I'm talking about, I'm talking this about is basketball. <laughs> no, 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 okay. no, no. This, this is, well, nah, we'll this, see. This is this, what I'm talking about. So Kirk <laughs> right, Goldsberry has a book right yeah. now out called Sprawl Ball. A book. And what he did was analyze the points you can expect to score in a given shot. And, and the two places that give you the least return are the mid-range and on the block, right? Yeah. And partly that's because mid-range, obviously, you're farther away from the basket, but you're only getting two points if you hit it, as opposed to the three, which nowadays is almost as easy for guys to hit as the mid-range. But it's interesting to me about scoring in the post because the refs officiate it differently down there. You get very, very little return from an eight-footer, like, compared to, compared to a 27-footer. Like, you're better off shooting from 27 feet because the refs, if you blow on Isaiah. a guy, if you look at him the wrong way, they, they, you know, they blow a whistle. But down on the block, the, the, you can, you can uh, hack uh, a guy and, and it doesn't get called. Max, Max, we're, we're, we're trying to get at you and save you from yourself. Here's where you lose everybody. Here's where I'm you lose Isaiah. everybody. Listen to this. Here's where you lose everybody, Max. And I need everybody to put me up on a split screen so I can look at Max when I say this. Max Kellerman, it is not easy, or it is not just as easy for somebody to hit the three as it is to hit the mid-range. There are plenty of dudes that hit mid-range, and the further you get away from the basket, you could be as open as the sea, and you will still brick it. Trust and what me. I'm saying the is fact, if, you have a, if you have a team we, with those guys who hit mid-range, you you're going to lose. I, I'm, a, I'm addressing exactly what you just said on national television. The notion that, oh, my goodness, if you can hit a mid-range shot, you can, you, can, you can make a three, that is not true. There are plenty of dudes that can hit shots from 10 feet away. You put them beyond 19, yeah. they Sean can't Livingston. find sure. the damn basket. Now, Isaiah, am I right in saying that, sir? But that's not the point I'm making, but go no, ahead. No, 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 you're, you're absolutely right. And, and what, you're, uh, what, 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 Max, what you speak to, you're not, you're not taking into account the psychological impact that, that a player has or feels when he looks at his field goal percentage in the playoffs and that's he's right. shooting 25% from the field. And the media is saying, oh, you, 
you were shooting 35 or 40 in the regular season, but now you're only shooting 25. Can't so find that in the, the book. So the emotional, psychological impact, that's what we play against. That's what we compete against. We don't compete against these numbers. I come to the, I come to the game and I look at you and I say, Max, you used to play in 40 minutes a night. Against me, guess what? You're going to play 30 minutes tonight. You know why? Because when I put you on the block and you talk about the way the officials officiate the game, okay, you're going to get two fouls right away. You're going to get three fouls right away. Preach! What's the, what's, what's the impact of the bonus? When I'm in the bonus with, with eight minutes to go in a quarter and your best player is out with three well, minutes to I go. I would argue this. I would argue this. Hallelujah! I mean, you that advance, the teams that advance the farthest in the playoffs, like, who are the dominant teams? They're shooting the best from long range. See, Those the, are the ones who are – I'm not making it up. No, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going against what you're saying. I'm just saying that – one team scores in only three areas, and the champions are scoring in five areas. They're using all of the floor. Thank They're you. using all of the offensive, all of the offensive sets. So when I when I play against a Houston, right, I gotta defend James Harden one on one moves, and I gotta defend pick and roll. When I play against Golden State, I gotta I gotta bring I gotta bring my attaché case. I got it. I got it. Golden State played like Houston. In other words, the only thing they were no, doing was shooting threes and no, free throws. I, I got, they even better. No, I got to know how to defend the flare. I got to know how to defend the split. I got to. Yes. I got to know how to. I got to know how to double down. I got to know how to get all that. I got to read pick and roll. I got to read when the when the flare is coming. I got to read when the pin down is coming. I got to read when Steph is setting the screen with Clay. In you got. Uh, yes. Durant in the post. Yeah, it's I mean, I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got to read all of that. It's more this is difficult a much to defend. bigger it's, debate, I feel yeah, like. I analytics mean, versus basketball. All I got to say is analytics still ain't won no championships. But it's just, Amen! It's, it's doing nothing but winning championships. All right, that, oh, that was our drop it. the mic moment.